Man, I am speechless. I, this, is, this is probably one of the first times I made myself speechless. I don't even know what to say to start this intro just because this transformation is so crazy. I, man, I took this dude from bald, nothing. He had a little bit of hair on his eye to dreadlocks, 11 inch dreadlocks. And that's what I'm about to show you guys in this video today. YouTube, I'm Adrian the Barber, and I'm back with another Man Week tutorial. This is the fourth one I put out. Um, and so we're just getting started. We've got a lot of crazy transformations coming, a lot of different techniques to show you guys. So make sure if you're not subscribed to the channel, get over here, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss any of this content I'm putting out. I guarantee you I'm putting out the best man weave hair replacement, whatever you guys want to call it, techniques on the internet. And it's for free, so you can't even complain with that. Model of the day. He hasn't had hair in 20 plus years. This is a huge transformation for him. His wife never seen him with hair. His kids have never seen him with hair. So this is going to be a shock for more than just the YouTube community and the people who watch this in the shop. This is going to be a shock for just his immediate family. His kids ain't even going to know who he is when he comes home tonight. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the tools and all the products, the hair, everything I use to complete this look. Um, if you guys got questions, make sure you leave comments, hit me up on Instagram. I try to get back to everybody I possibly can. I think I've done a pretty good job so far with all the messages I've been getting. So um, yeah, make sure you hit me up. And also get over to my model website, Melvin, my man Melvin. He's a uh, military veteran. And he has his own clothing line. He started Ready Ready. I got to plug my boy. You know, his website's in the description below. 15% um, of the profits go towards uh, mental uh, veterans with mental health issues. So you can read more of the story over on his website. But yeah, go ahead and check out the Ready Ready gear. Um, besides that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump into this video. I ain't going to keep y'all waiting no more because I know you're going to be speechless like I was after you see this transformation. Let's go ahead and get it. All right, so now for the products, I got my black hair glue, black hair wraps. I got my uh, black stocking cap, my ghost bond. I got Rock and Locks hair. Um, it's 2X Mambo Rock and Locks made by Janet. The color is 1B. And for this unit, I use three packs of that. The Cuban twist, I end up not using for this tutorial. So you can forget about that. My white eyeliner pencil you'll need. And a brush to spread the glue. So we can go ahead and jump into this video. Uh, for everybody who's seen my videos before, you know that I'm actually sitting here watching the video with you, coaching you through it. Um, and basically just explaining everything that I'm doing along the way. So again, if you get lost, you've got questions, make sure you just leave me comments or uh, add me on Instagram up in the top uh, left or right hand corner, wherever it's at for this video. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Adrian the Barber. So let's go ahead and jump into it. The first thing I'm gonna do is take my white eyeliner pencil and the color really doesn't matter on the eyeliner pencil. You can use black, brown, white, blue, whatever because before we lay any hair or put any glue down, we're gonna wipe this wet line away so it's as dim as possible because you don't want it to show. So I'm just gonna start with the vertical uh, bars and I'm just gonna locate those and I, I wanna leave them, I wanna try to leave the natural ones there if I can. Sometimes these, you know, your client may not have any hair there at all and so you might have to make those and in future videos I'll show you guys how to make the sides. So after I do my vertical lines, I'm gonna go ahead and make my front horizontal line. Now take your time. There's no need to rush. This is the most important part of the process because if you don't get this line straight, it's not, it's not like you can go back after the hair and glue is laid down and straighten it out. You have to make sure it's straight, perfectly straight before. Otherwise, you know, wherever that glue is laid, you can't cut. It's just, you're just gonna end up with a crooked hairline. And then you're either gonna end up with an unhappy client or you're just gonna have to, you know, let them leave the, the way it is or, or take the hair off and start over. So right here, I got my wall magic clips. And with these magic clips, all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make a, a nice horseshoe shape and going back to the, uh, to the crown of his head and just uh, balling out everything. I'm not gonna take it completely all the way down to the skin. I just have my magic clips with the blade closed because for this unit, we're gonna actually place the wrap and the cap on it. Like if you saw my first hair replacement video, it's the same uh, sort of setup process. So I don't have to worry, like uh, with the waist, for instance, I, I like to get it as, as smooth as possible. I don't really have to worry about this for this video. And then, yeah, I'm trying to make it, uh, when I make my horseshoe shape, I want to try to make it as even as possible going around because I don't want lopsided dreads. So 
you know, I used I used those two points, those two corner points, and I just balled from there and brought everything back uh, to the crown of the head. The next step um, in the preparation for putting the adhesive down is you're just gonna take some rubbing alcohol and you're just gonna clean your client's scalp. It's important because you don't want you want to make sure there's no grease or hair or anything left behind that's gonna stop the adhesive from sticking. Um, we want to try to get the maximum exposure or maximum maximum amount of wear time out of this as possible. So make sure you're working with a clean canvas. Now I got my scalp protectant, and I'm just gonna place my scalp protectant anywhere that there's gonna be glue. So I'm not gluing his whole scalp, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go and um, scalp protect his whole scalp. I'm just going around where I'm putting the glue. So you'll see. Uh, before I lay my wrap down, which is gonna be my next step, I'm gonna take my ghost bond, and right where I put that scalp protectant going around the head, I'm just gonna put glue. So I'll go around and then right in the middle, where I close the cap off at, I'm gonna put a circle of glue. And now I'm gonna take my uh, brush, this is just a, a regular old tent dye brush that you can get at Sally's or any other beauty supply store that's in your area. And I'm just gonna spread it out, just make turn it into a thin layer. I'm gonna do the same process all the way around his head. And then I'm gonna go into the middle and I'm gonna spread that out a little bit as well. See, I'm leaving, I'm leaving a small space between his natural hair and you know, as well in the front with the hairline. Because when I actually pl start to place, place the dreadlocks, I want, I want to be able to, uh, to still be able to see the scalp a little bit to try to make it look as natural as possible. And then again, you don't need the cap all the way up to his hairline. Basically what we're doing here in this process, if you've ever seen a, t a toupee, this is, you're, you're kind of making a toupee. That's what, that's what this step right here is. And this allows for the unit to be uh, sweat resistant and it actually holds up to water better than the units that don't have um, this backing. So when I say like sweat and water resistant, it doesn't mean you can get in and shampoo your hair. It just means that if it gets wet, it's gonna hold up um, better compared to the units that don't have this sort of underlaying. So now just to close this cap down, I'm just gonna you know, put a little bit of black hair glue. And I'm just gonna lay this cap all the way down. I wanna get it uh, flat to his head. So when you do a unit like this and you, you're doing this preparation work where you have the cap and you have the wrap, um, you can go to the gym and work out and it will hold up to the sweat a lot better than, like I said uh, previously, the, the units that don't have the underlaying. I'm gonna take a blow dryer and just to completely make sure that this wrap is um, glued down, that glue is dry before I move on to my next step. I'm just gonna kind of pat it down. And your wrap should look similar to this right here. And you see the space that I have uh, left over, you'll see what I do with that. So now the next step is I'm gonna take my black wig cap and I'm gonna place it over his head. I'm gonna glue this wig cap down to the black wrap and then I'm gonna cut this off. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of people that are gonna say, well, I'm just buy a dreaded toupee or, or you know, buy a toupee and, and skip this step. Um, this right here, toupees, they run a lot of money. This is this is uh, along the same sort of lines, but it's a lot cheaper. Um, toupees are anywhere from 100 to 150 dollars plus. You know, I've seen them up to a thousand dollars. Man, even even more money than that. But uh, this this is a more economical way for you to. I mean. To make it work for your clients not everybody can come in and pay you know five hundred a thousand dollars to get their hair done and so um like i said this is very similar to a toupee and then with this you can customize the hair um however you want also a big question i get a lot is uh 
you know, how can you do straight hair? And this is a very similar process to how you do straight hair. And I do have a tutorial with the man we for straight hair coming soon. So uh, when that comes out, you'll be able to compare the two. So all I did here, I just uh, put the, the black hair glue in, in a circle around the wrap. And then I did a cross down the middle over the side. And I used my fingers to kind of uh, hit the glue from the cap into the wrap so that I can get them to adhere together. And now I'm just gonna go ahead and cut this wrap there, cut this cap off. And a lot of cosmetologists or uh, people who do women's hair, they're gonna say, you know, this is very similar to like a quick weave. Um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a very similar process. Now, now I would say the dreads, for instance, because the dreads is a, it's a little bit different of a process than the uh, sweat durable unit I did my first video. That's, that's more comparable to a quick weave than this probably would be. But I think the setup process is, is pretty identical. I've never done a quick weave. I don't know too much about it, but um, from everything I've heard, it's pretty identical. So now I got that um, cap glued down on top of the wrap. I got the wrap on the head. Now I'm gonna take the dreads, I'm just gonna prep the dreads. Uh, when you get to this step, you see uh, I use three packs of hair. Um, when you get to this step, you really make the dreads as long as you want. So for this unit, for instance, I cut these dreads at 11 inches and then I have a whole bunch of new growth um, that, that's visible with the unit. So I didn't wanna make these like super clean dreads. I got another tutorial I'll be doing in the future, doing like the clean dreads where you can see the parts and. Um, then I have another video with like some baby dreads where there's just barely any new growth. But for this instance, like I said, I want to make these long and I want to put a whole bunch of new growth and make them, just try to make them look as natural as possible. So this Rock and Locks pack actually has a measure measurement on the side. So what I did, is, like I said, I measured them down to 11 inches. Um, how I came up with 11 inches, I don't know. That's just what I felt comfortable with. And then I went ahead and I just even, you know, just took the, the ones that I cut off and mashed it up with the other ones and, and cut those off. And do the same thing with all three, uh, all three packs. And you don't, you can use less dreads if you want. Um, I, like I said, I used a lot of dreads in this video, but you can, you can get away with using, using less dreads. I probably could have did two packs and I probably could have spread them out and got them, got them out there just fine. Now this next step, I'm just taking my electrical tape. If you've seen my previous videos, you've seen I did this process um, every time before I do the hairline. This just cuts out um, trying to, you know, wipe the glue down perfectly in a, in a straight line. Uh, this just cuts out that process. You put the tape on, you put the glue, you wipe it across the tape, take the tape off, and you got your you got your perfect lineup. Again, if you guys got questions, make sure you leave them down in the comments below. Um, I mean, this is a this is a long process. It's a lot of work. There's a lot of steps. It's easy to get confused. And so, take my uh, my tent brush, and I'm just gonna just uh, make a nice even layer of the glue. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna do this uh, process all the way around where you where you have um, the space because now we're gonna start on our hairline. We're actually gonna do the outer dreads first, and then we're gonna work our way in and fill in, the, fill in the middle of the cap. So after I put that glue on, I wanna remove my tape right away. I don't wanna let the glue dry at all with the tape on because if you do that, you're gonna uh, have a mess when you go to peel that, peel that tape up. And the ghost bond, like I said, I like ghost bond a lot just because um, like when you take that tape off, you can take some shears, and if any glue fell over the line, then you can go back and you can just uh, line it up like you would if you had a straight razor. And it, it, when you put it on, it's white, so you can actually look and see and make sure you had a perfect hairline before you even um, put any hair on. And if it's not right, like I said, just use your shears and even it up, get it right. So now I'm gonna take my, my first dreadlock and see, I'm creating a new growth by just combing out the end of it right here like this. And I'm gonna start right in the middle of his head and I'm gonna put this first dread down. So I'm gonna let some of the, I'm gonna let some of the new growth fall over the hairline because when I go back to line it up, I wanna, I wanna make sure there's something. So you don't 
don't line it up perfectly <clears throat> with where you put the glue. Let that, let that new growth fall over um, your hairline that you created. And then you're just gonna take um, another piece of hair and you're gonna do the same exact process. Um, comb out the end, make sure all your dreads are combed out the same. Like I usually I'll take like four or five dreads, um, hold them evenly and then comb out the bottom. So that way I have equal new growth on each dread. If any of you guys are gonna be in LA March 3rd for Barbican, uh, let me know, man. I'm gonna be out there for that. I'm gonna be out there that whole weekend. I love LA, gotta get back out to LA. And you see, I'm doing the same exact process. Uh, I let that glue dry a little bit because when the ghost spawn starts to dry, it turns clear. So that's when you know once it starts turning clear, you're ready to put your hair on. Don't put the hair on while the glue is still super uh, white because it's not gonna stick right away. You gotta let it become tacky a little bit um, and then you can go and you can press your hair on. And believe it or not, like this dread unit is like, it's a super durable unit, it's a super strong unit. Um, like I, I did it on a mannequin one time and like I, I did it on my live feed where I took the mannequin and I actually was like holding it by his hair and bouncing up and down. Um, this, like this unit, this unit holds really well. And so you see, I'm doing the same exact thing, just taking one dread at a time and just drop, laying them, uh, combing out the bottom with the new growth and then laying it right over the hairline. And that's gonna give me something to trim down and line up when I come back at the end of this. And now I'm just kind of pressing that, pressing the hair down into the glue a little bit better after I get that whole piece on. So now that this is gonna make up my front hairline. and the dread process has officially began. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, I said it before, take the glue, and I'm just filling in that space, that little space I had uh, between his natural hair and the cap. And I'm even gonna, I'm even gonna get the glue on his natural hair just a little bit, just on the top of it. So that way when I go to uh, blend it in, it all blends in really nice. Same process, you know. You can do more than one piece of hair at a time. Um, just for the video purpose, I'm doing just one piece of hair because I want to show you guys how to layer and I want it to make sense. I don't want you guys to get confused. But you'll see when I get to the back, um, I'll start laying two at a time. And then put that piece down, you know, make sure it's stuck and then move to the next piece. This unit is actually, it's not as hard as it looks like to do. It's actually a pretty simple unit to do. It's just, it's, it's time consuming just because you're laying piece by piece. And again, you can dictate how much new growth you want. If you if you want just barely any new growth, um, you can just barely comb it out at the bottom. If you want a lot of new growth, like I said, this, this one, like I, I didn't want these dreads to be super clean dreads. I wanted these to be the, the nappy, nappy looking dreads. And then again, I left, I left that space because when this glue dries, it's gonna dry clear. And then it's almost like the scalp exposure unit I did where you can still, still kind of see the scalp through the hair and it gives it more of a natural look, more of a, more of a real look. I could have took the cap all the way down to his hairline, but then everything would have just been super dark around it. And I put my ghost bond on, I let it dry a little bit. And you see, I got two strands here just to kind of speed the process up. Also starting at the end of February, I am gonna uh, be traveling around, doing hair replacement classes, teaching uh, teaching different units. Um, I have six cities I'm going to uh, for sure, and I have a couple other ones that are maybes right now. So make sure you stay on the lookout, uh, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you guys are always updated. Um, and then again, if you want to see me in your city uh, teaching hair replacements, uh, you know, put that down in the comments. Let me know where I should come next. Right now, I know for sure that I'll be in Dallas and 
Houston, New York, Philly, and I believe LA. And now after you get those outside dreads done, you see I just clipped them up, put them up. I want to uh, press that hair down into the glue better. I want to take my blow dryer using cool air only, and I'm going to press that down into the hair just to make sure that that glue is dry and those dreads are stuck on there really well. So now you see that I got, I got my outside dreads done. <clears throat> um, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my black hair glue, and with the black hair glue, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to fill the rest of that cap up with, with the glue and I'm gonna start to lay the dreads right inside of this unit. So fill up that, fill up the whole entire cap with glue. And then you're gonna do the same thing with your dreads. You wanna comb out the exact same amount of new growth. And when you get to this point, you can lay as many pieces as you want. If you wanna speed the process up, you see right here, I have what, like three or four pieces that I'm laying down. Um, it's, it's gonna help to, to speed the process up, definitely. And you see I'm laying them so they fall out outwards. I don't want to lay them and have them fall <laughs> into the glue. So um, you see, I'm just going to work my way. I'm going to work my way around basically. Sort of like I did when I uh, did the first unit when I had the hair on the track and I kind of went around into a circle all the way up into the middle. I'm going to follow that same exact technique and I'm going to, uh, you know, get that. I'm gonna get it to where it goes and it's gonna leave a little space and I'll close it off in the middle. So you lay those hairs down and then just drop them over your hands just like I did right there. And when I do this, I like to lay, you know, somewhere between two and four pieces at a time. Um, when you're just doing one, it's gonna take a long time to do it. But you know, sometimes I, sometimes I will put one. Um, but yeah, for the most time, most of the time, I'm gonna use two, two, three, or four pieces to lay at a time. Again, make sure that new growth is um, combed out all at the same length. You don't want one unit to have no new growth and another unit to have a whole bunch of new growth. You want it to match up and look as uh, natural as possible. So try to make it even. And again, with this uh, black hair glue, when you put the black hair glue on, let it dry a little bit. So you see when I first put it on and it was light, it was, it was black, but it was light. Um, now you can see it and it's starting to get a little bit darker and it's looking, you know, it's looking dry. That's how you want to get that. It's just like the uh, ghost bond. You want it to be uh, tacky enough to where you put the hair on, it sticks and you don't have to sit there and babysit it. If you try to put the, if you try to put the glue on and then try to put the hair on, as soon as you move move your finger away, that hair is gonna fall off, and then you're gonna be stuck with a hair, you know, full of glue, a piece of hair full of glue. Um, so let it let it become tacky enough. You see how I'm just pressing, pulling it down, and then the hair is, is sticking right there. You know, your first time, just take your time. There's no need to ever rush through this. Um, you know, it's just, it's all about patience and time and, and, and practice. Uh, my suggestions to everybody is just go get, go get some mannequin, mannequins. You can go on Amazon. I'll link some mannequins on Amazon down in the description below. You guys can go buy those. They're like $15, $20. And then you can practice these man units on them as many times as you want. I got, I got three or four mannequins that I'll put hair on and I'll take the hair off and I'll, you know, give them a different style. So. You don't have to, um, it's not like you're buying a mannequin and you can only use it one time. You can use that mannequin as many times as you want. But definitely get some practice on it um, before you go and you start doing it on, on real people's hair. You can see how the dreads are starting to come together. Really, I'm just working my way around. Um, just. You know, I, I don't have I don't have all my dreads falling backwards. Um, you want to work your way around so you have dreads falling backwards, dreads falling to the side, and dreads falling forward. Um, again, because you want to make it look as natural as possible. Uh, you know, just, like I said, just follow around in a circle, and then you get to that spot to where you only have one or two more pieces of hair that can fit on the head, and you just close it out. So you see where I'm at right now. Got about two or three pieces left. And I'm just placing it in, holding it, pulling it.
this is probably one of the more uh, I have I have fun doing this unit. I had a lot of fun doing this unit. Um, this one I, I don't get to do dread units as, as much as I like to. They're a little bit more work. They take a little bit more time. This unit probably takes two and a half hours, I'd say. And for something like this, I charge about three hundred dollars. So now after I get all the hair down, what I'm doing here, I'm just making sure that the hair is compressed into the glue really well before I start cutting it. Like I said, um, on that mannequin I had, I had it to where I can actually, you know, pick it up and, you know, juggle it around by its hair and it wouldn't, it wouldn't fall off. That's how strong this glue is. So you see, I'm just picking the hair up in sections. I'm just compressing it down, making sure it's in the glue well. And then you can take a blow dryer and you can blow dry it as well. Um, I basically just picked it up in four sections. Um, basically cut off two sections in the front, two in the back. So now to trim it up, I'm just tie the hair up. I got my wall magic clips and I'm gonna start on the front hairline and I'm just gonna start to trim it down to where I can start to see some of the natural scalp um, before I'll go ahead and actually line it up. Uh, there's not a lot of cutting down to do with this unit because really all you're doing is you, those hairs that you put on the side, you're gonna blend those into the natural hair. So you can sit here and you can watch this process as I go through it. Um, there's really not a lot to explain. All I'm doing is cutting down on it. You see, I might come up a little bit, but for the most part, I'm gonna stay um, coming down. And be careful to, to not cut off any of the dreads. If you do on accident or one of the uh, sides happens to fall off, just put some more glue in that spot and put it back on. So you see again, coming down on it, just blending that in. And that's why I said you wanna put a little bit of glue on the natural hair and, and let it hang over so then you can just blend it right down into the real hair. Again, this process, just take your time. Like I said previously, I got other dread units coming out. Um, like I said, this unit is, is, is the unit that, you know, I had a lot of new growth. The next one I'm gonna put out is, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna put out the baby dread uh, unit next or else the, the more neat dreads. Um, I haven't made my mind up on that yet, but both, both of them will be out soon enough. You see, I'm just taking off a little bit of hair at a time, um, being patient, just trying to get it to blend down into that natural hair as best as you can. And like, like in my previous videos, you're gonna use some color. I'll use my Kiss Express and come back. I'm not gonna use a lot of it, but just a little bit to come in and help blend it in um, a little more, make it look a little bit more natural. You can see how it's really starting to come together. And it actually looks like these dreads are coming out of his actual scalp. So um, that's, that's what we're shooting for. Now I'm gonna take my wall detailers. And I'm gonna go in and just where I created that uh, hairline in the beginning, I'm just gonna stay on that and I'm just gonna line them up on that. Remember, wherever there's glue, you're not gonna be able to cut. So, you know, you're cutting right in front of the glue. And again, uh, make sure you get over and uh, get over to my boy Melvin's website. Um, the link's down in the description below. Uh, the website's right ready. He has uh, hats and shirts. Um, he was a he was a military uh, veteran, and you know, 15 percent of the proceeds go towards veterans with mental health. And so, you know, he's selling the hats and shirts for a good cause. Um, again, you can go over the website has the whole story and everything that the company is about. And so, uh, yeah, definitely get over and, and check him out. Support support him, man. He's he's, uh, he's out here. He's selling stuff for a good cause. So. So yeah, with my details, I'm just, you know, just trying to keep a, a natural line. Just, you know, it's really the same technique as if you were lining up somebody that had real dreads or, you know, just a real, a real haircut line up. And now after I get done lining it up, I'm just gonna go ahead and get into the haircut. Um, the white line you see on his vertical bar, just take some rubbing alcohol and you can just wipe that right off. Um, I'm not gonna place any hair there. Really, I just made that as a guideline for myself. Um, with where I'm be uh, laying hair. 
So again, like when you get into the haircut process, you'll see it's gonna disappear. I didn't show when I wiped it away. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. Um, but again, like, like I said, it was just, just a guide. And now I'm gonna wipe it off before I go in and I start doing this fade. So my wall detailers, turned them around, made my first guideline. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fade out uh, this guideline. So I have my, my half guard on on my, on my uh, detailers, or not my detailers, my magic clip. I'm always getting my clippers confused and mixed up. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm, all I'm doing is just working that line up. So I started with the magic clip, blade all the way closed with the half um, guard on, made our guideline, and I opened it up halfway. That's where I'm at right now. And I'm just knocking out that next weight line that I created. Now I'm gonna open them all the way up. Now I'm just gonna come in and you know continue to blend out the rest of that line. So right here I have my number one guard on, just blending it, uh, the rest of that hair into the top. Just really kind of cleaning up that bulk that, that's up there. And I'm just gonna work that, work that guard uh, to knock that out and try to make a smooth transition into the top. Really just using a lot of the corners of my clippers kind of knock out any little dark spots I see. And again, if you, uh, you know, question it, just use your mirror. Your mirror is going to show you every, uh, every spot that you need to blend out. And now I just took my guard off and I'm going to work on blending out that bottom line, the initial guideline that I made with my wall detailer. So I have my magic clip all the way closed. And I'm just going to start to tap out that line. Just hitting right at it, keeping my clipper flush to his head. And then I'm just going to start to work that blade up, just like I did my guards. When I start with my clipper all the way closed, and I go halfway open, all the way open. I'm going to use the same exact technique with no guard on. And you can see that line starting to pop right out of there. And that's really all it is to the haircut again. Um, Haircut's an important part. Again, I put the hair on first, so I knew exactly what I needed to cut after um, I had the hair on. So now I'm gonna take my air compressor with my Kiss Express in it, and I get a lot of questions about what the mixture is. All it is is black Kiss Express um, mixed with rubbing alcohol. It's a 50-50 mix, and then I'm just gonna go in, and I'm just gonna hit up a few spots. I'm not gonna use a ton of color in this video. Uh, I, like, I like to try to stay away from using a ton of color in my uh, man weaves just because I want them to look more natural. When, we, when you start throwing a whole bunch of color on there, that's when I feel like, and a whole bunch of fibers and stuff, that's when I feel like the natural look kind of disappears. So I'll use a little, um, especially on the sides right there. You see he didn't have a lot of hair. And so I'll just try to make it work the best the best that I can with it. And then really I'll just find spots and uh, hit it with a little color and just try to blend it in and make it look, make it look natural. Now the color Kiss Express you use, it all depends on, on the hair of the client. Um, you know, whatever color the, the client is, the client's hair is, or whatever client hair you put on, you just try to match it up as best as you can. So yeah, that's really all there is to this unit. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I appreciate you guys coming back, spending another 35 minutes with me. Um, continue to support the channel. I appreciate it. Uh, here are some before and afters. Definitely a dramatic transformation. Again, if you guys got questions, make sure you uh, let me know in the comments below. Leave comments, let me know what you guys think about this tutorial. Um, man, like I said, again, I can't, I can't appreciate it. I can't thank you guys enough for continuing to tune in. And, you know, these man, these man weaves that got my channel going crazy. So I uh, appreciate the love and support. Add me on Instagram, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. So that's all I got for this video, you guys. I appreciate you tuning in. Um, until the next video, make sure you stay on the lookout. This has been Adrian the Barber, and I will see you then.